I joined an online uh, dating service and within uh, a short time I had a message from an American soldier who was serving time in Afghanistan. He was retiring uh, very soon and would like to come to Toronto to meet me. Well, he then asked me um, to send him the ticket money so I said, uh, asked him why couldn't he? And he said he didn't have access to it since he was out in the desert. So I obtained his uh, bank account name, the bank account number, uh, transfer number and where the bank account was which was in Africa. So needless to say I didn't send any money and I stopped communications. Maureen was almost a victim of what's known as romance fraud, something most Canadians don't know about, which is surprising since it's one of the top scams in the country. There's about $12 million that have been reported. It's uh, the top grossing scam right now. So if there's $12 million reported, we know that very few people actually report things due to embarrassment. So getting people to come forward for this type of scam is even more difficult than a lot of the other scams. The other scams that are also affecting Zoomers can be the advance fee loan, where you pay for a service up front and yet you don't get that service. Uh, now, Mr. Stevens, we cannot forward any funds to you until you forward payment for this insurance. Simply go down to your nearest money transfer location and wire the money to our insurance broker. Another scam, identity theft, uh, as well as the telemarketing theft. I'm just looking at your loan application here. And I'm happy to say that you've been approved for a $10,000 loan. Do not uh, give your identity out. Do not give your social insurance um, number out. Cover your, your PIN when using your card. Change your PIN on a very regular basis. For three to six months, uh, it's a great idea to change your PIN. On the CARP website, we have a number of resources to help people figure out whether or not something is a scam, where they can go to report a scam, and to get some general information about the kinds of things that are going on out there. And really, just be wary. If you think that you're a victim or if you know someone you believe may be a victim of fraud, contact your local police department or phone busters at the number listed at the bottom of your screen. In downtown Toronto, Darren Maharaj, Zoomer News.